the long-awaited Silver Surfer character could very well be coming to the MCU as soon as 2024 through the new Marvel Studios special presentation format and a project that has been rumored to already be in the works as I speak, which is why I decided to tell you everything that I know so far about the project and the character and give you a first look into things. Enjoy! Without a doubt, MCU's next destination is to the skies, or more particularly, towards the cosmic side of things, which is evident even now, with many of the upcoming projects from Marvel Studios suggesting that the MCU has only scratched the surface so far and that there is more to be known, not only about some galaxies, but rather all of them. And what better way to see this unfold than yet with a project including one of Marvel's most famous characters in the Marvel Universe, the Silver Surfer. Recent rumors suggest that he will be coming to the MCU, with his arrival being even more mysterious than his own persona. But more on that later. As for right now, you might be wondering, who even is Silver Surfer? And what is his part in all of the things that are about to unfold during the multiverse saga? Well, sit tight and enjoy as I take a short trip down memory lane regarding the character and I'll tell you who he is, what his purpose is, and most importantly, what makes him tick, as well as the most famous storylines of the character in the comics, which might get adapted to some extent in the MCU. This is my guess, so take everything regarding that topic with a grain of salt, as nothing has been confirmed so far. And with that in mind, let's dive right in. The Silver Surfer on Norrenrad is one of the noblest and most tormented entities in the universe. He treasures freedom above all else and who occasionally sacrifices his own liberty for the greater good. Born on the planet Zenla, Norrenrad belongs to a long-lived and technologically advanced humanoid race that created their own utopia, one without crime, hunger, disease, poverty, and want of any kind. Norn was named after a famous scientist who helped build this utopia, with his childhood years mostly spent under his ambitious father, which somewhat forced Norn to have a grimly intellectual youth, always seeking knowledge, advancement, and achievement rather than aimless hedonism which came to dominate that world after quite a while. Despite his lifelong lover, Norrin grew to be a restless soul, always in need of a challenge, which eventually made him part of almost all adventurous ancient events in his utopia and the past of his home. Nothing special, right? Well, Norrin's life took a huge turn when an alien spaceship breached Zenla's defenses, a moment when Norrin asked the Council of Scientists to give him a spaceship, after which he confronted Galactus, whose intention was to consume the planet of Zenla, being the devourer of worlds that we know him to be. In order to save the freedom of his people and their ability to live in the future, Norrin offered to become Galactus's herald and seek out worlds for him to feed on. Galactus agreed with this predisposition and he transformed Norrin into a silver-skinned, cosmic-powered super being. A time in his life when his memories are plucked off by Galactus himself and a moment from when he is called the Silver Surfer because of his silver skin, but also of the silvery flying board that he rides on. The Silver Surfer served Galactus for several decades and enjoyed the wonders of the universe, with his job becoming more and more difficult, resulting in more cruel actions, ones that led Galactus to devour the first inhabited planet while accompanied by the Silver Surfer. This was something Norn could never accept and it almost drove him insane, forcing Galactus to alter the mind of his herald. After which, his memories of hitting that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already were erased. But no, in reality, Galactus submerged Rad's memories and repressed his emotions, which led the Silver Surfer to become an even better herald of Galactus, the best as we came to know years later, solely because he became much more willing to lead Galactus to inhabited worlds such as Massacron, Elinor, Draven Bar, and eventually Earth something that was already adapted in the live action side of things through a Fantastic Four movie in the past, with Silver Surfer causing widespread panic and coming face to face with the Fantastic Four. And the rest is history. I do not want to enter in too much detail because there are not a lot of details known about the rumored project that includes the character. So I will stop right here when it comes to his story, leaving the rest for Marvel Studios and their take on the character 
as well as all of the events that revolved around the character in the Marvel comics. Reports say that Marvel Studios is developing a Silver Surfer project for the MCU, and in none other formats than the newest thing from the company, their Disney Plus special presentation format. The project is said to feature Norrin Red, aka the Silver Surfer, while under Galactus's command, and his mission of finding new worlds to be devoured by Galactus. It has also been said that the Silver Surfer will reportedly not be on Earth in this special presentation, with no other previously established MCU characters involved. However, one of the biggest news regarding the project is the fact that Silver Surfer's special presentation will reportedly be released before the upcoming Fantastic Four movie, which suggests that the two projects could very well be linked somehow. And it would make sense. He is one of the characters that is closely connected to Marvel's first family, who served as an antagonist in several storylines involving the Fantastic Four. Since the upcoming Fantastic Four movie is currently set to premiere in February of 2025, getting delayed from its first release date, you should expect the Silver Surfer special to release in either late 2024 or early 2025. This is all just a speculation, and it will be hard to confirm whether the project will go through, simply because no details have been shared about the movie that will supposedly follow Silver Surfer's project. Thus, keep in mind that this could all amount to nothing. However, if something comes up of the sort, this is where you heard it first. Side note, if it was up to me, I would smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. But no, in all seriousness, if it was up to me, I would say that the rumors are true and that Silver Surfer's debut through his project is a must before the Fantastic Four movie, solely because of the impact and connection that the character has with the bunch. All in all, the previously mentioned special will likely be an isolated story about the character and the boss that he's working for, but also paced within the MCU and the events of the special presentation format to possibly have some kind of an impact on the wider story of the MCU. Which brings me to the next topic that I want to talk about. Seeing how the Silver Surfer is closer to the MCU, does this mean that Galactus could be coming to the MCU sooner than expected? Silver Surfer's entry in the MCU is a huge surprise, as his debut would also mean that the character of Galactus would also need to be introduced. There is simply no Silver Surfer story without him. The two will probably introduce themselves to the MCU properly through the Fantastic Four movie. And I am saying this probably because of the actions of the two finally having an impact on the others, with a special showcasing the origin story of the two. Probably. The recent introduction of King the Conqueror as the next big baddie could mean that the next big villain could very well be Galactus, following the events of the Multiverse Saga, at which point he will have to contend with the Avengers, Eternals, the Fantastic Four, as well as the X-Men a crew that will likely get fully established in the already confirmed Avengers Secret Wars, where, according to my educated guess, you will probably see Doctor Doom taking over the scene, with him being the next big thing after Kang the Conqueror and before Galactus. But there are a lot of things before that happens, so I will not go further than that. The important thing is the long-awaited Silver Surfer project is finally underway, with all of the fans getting what they wanted for quite some time now. MCU's take on the Silver Surfer and on Galactus, of course. See you in the next video.